Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. It's November 1st, so let's take a look at the first preliminary numbers on how did Rumble do in October. And for the first time ever, all of Rumble's numbers show with a plus sign on them. iOS 30,000 downloads, 20,000 more than last month, 600,000 in revenue, 200,000 more than last month. On Android, 50,000 downloads, that's 40,000 more than last month, and $600,000 in revenue, that's $300,000 more than last month, for a total of 80,000 downloads and 1.2 million in revenue. Now, the joy about this rise is tempered a little bit by the fact that in September, Rumble had its worst month ever and by far. So, looking at downloads, for example, May shows 80,000 downloads, June shows 60,000, July at 40,000, August 50,000, and then September down below to 20,000. But now, a rebound to 80,000 downloads. And that's actually pretty sweet, because it's better than... September, but it's also better than August, it's better than July, and it's better than June. It's back to May 2024 numbers, and that is actually a really good sign. So Rumble is getting some downloads, obviously 8000 is not what Blizzard wants this game to have, but that's still a very positive sign for Rumble. As for revenue, 1.2 million is the exact same as Rumble had back in August, before the September debacle. Now, there was this slow downward trend starting from June. June was the introduction of Azeroth's Blessing. So June was 1.5 million, July 1.4 million, August 1.2 million, and then September happened 700,000. Now we're back to 1.2 million again. So in some ways that is better than expected because it doesn't continue that downward slope with September just being an anomaly. It gets a little bit higher, but then again, we also had much more content in October than we have had ever before. So, kind of would have expected a little bit more baby there. Anyway, 1.2 million is so, so much better than 700,000. The overall mobile strategy game market in October 2024 wasn't very hot. I mean, there's only five games in the top 30 that were able to increase their revenue, and most games are down a little bit. So, nothing too drastic. The market is not crashing by enemies or anything, but still a little bit of contraction here. And Warcraft Rumble actually getting upwards is a positive sign in this environment. So after the catastrophic September, Rumble has rebounded. Obviously this was expected. September was catastrophic for many reasons. The major layoffs at Blizzard, the lost guest accounts, and I believe people still have not received their guest accounts back, at least some of them. So yeah, that that is really a, really a bad mark on Blizzard's account. And no new minis were released in September either, because there were minis at the end of August and then at the beginning of October. So there were lots of things going wrong with September. Some kind of rebound was to be expected. The revenue is back to a previous level. With all the new content in October, I think more could have been possible, but it's not bad. It's, it's okay, it's fine. What's the best sign about October is that new downloads is back to May 2024 levels, and that is big, because Rumble hasn't really been delivering a lot of endgame content recently, but they have been making a lot of changes to get new players in, and to get the new player experience to be better, to get the casual player experience to be better, to get better experience for players who have been playing just a couple of months, or a few months, or just starting out. So... Those players are now getting a much better experience with Rumble, and as new downloads come in, then that of course opens up more opportunities and hopefully more endgame content in the near future as well. That said, we have not had any news of new endgame content for Rumble. November has a new season again. The new season starts on 13th of November. Also, Blizzard is holding this Warcraft Direct, a big franchise-wide event. There's Warcraft, there's World of Warcraft, there's Hearthstone, there's Warcraft Rumble all with new announcements coming on November 13th. And I have had really high hopes for announcements direct. They have now been tempered a little bit, because today Blizzard told us that Season 10 content is going to be announced at Warcraft Direct on the 13th. Yeah, and the season also starts on, on the 13th, so content for Season 10 is going to be announced when it is launching. That lowers my expectation a little bit, because I was thinking that, okay, they're going to announce the season content next week, and then the following week in the Warcraft Direct, they're going to give us something, something big, something new. Now, in theory, they could just give us season 10, 
and nothing really big and major in Warcraft Direct. I'm still hoping that Warcraft Direct will also have something big in it. I mean, we're going to know in two weeks. And it looks like there might be opportunities to go stream Warcraft Direct on Twitch. So give live commentary on the event. I'm really interested in that option. We'll see. I hope to learn more about it soon. And if all goes well, you will be able to hear my thoughts about Warcraft Direct and the announcements for all of Warcraft games live on Twitch on the 13th. But I'll get back to you about that. Yeah, Rumble rebounding, looking hopeful for the time being. But what are the announcements for Warcraft Direct? Is it more than just Season 10? I really, really hope it will be more than that. And then maybe we could actually finally get this show on the road. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.